Okay, um, we are now at the next section of capturing video from your camcorder device. And again, here we are back at our workspace area. In our left corner here, we have our Windows uh, Word Pad as a scratch pad uh, where you can scroll down and see all of the clips and then useful information that we. Um, collected along the way of the capturing process at the end we went ahead and added a clip list so this is a good thing to pull up and uh, if needed I mean you're not gonna really need it but if you do you do and um, that should help you and our go back to our clip explorer and our main capture area um, as you can see you've got the thumbnails uh, down here good visual assister here and helping you um, see what it exactly that you've captured and uh, make sure to save it so that that information is up to date in your saved file project file you can scroll down and obviously you can change the uh, view to a detailed view list uh, where you get the clip name the date and time stamp which is useful it tells you exactly when the clip was recorded onto the videotape uh, you've got the time code in and the time code out um, and uh, a whole lots of other information that's useful up to the actual location of where your clip is on the hard drive. So it's very useful and uh, will help the process of capturing your video from your camcorder device a uh, little bit uh, easier and more organized. And down in our bottom right hand corner here we have the uh, Snagit area where uh, which was very useful in helping us uh, assemble our notes uh, on the left here in our WordPad area. Overall, overall, this is our completed um, project here, and uh, let's just pull up Windows Explorer here and check out our clips. Uh, make sure that they're actually there in our subdirectory, and we can double-click on one of those and uh, verify uh, that, in fact, the video was recorded properly. Uh, you might want to check out and see uh, how the quality of the uh, capture went. Uh, you never know in this process. Sometimes something went wrong. But you, so you want to verify along the way, make sure your clip is recorded in the format that you were anticipating, and also that the audio or vi video is uh, to your uh, liking or to the standards that you were expecting. As you can see here, you can pull it right up, and there it is. So that's that. So let's go ahead and um, uh, stop that, and minimize our Windows Explorer and bring us back to our work uh, space area. And that's uh, basically the next step in uh, getting video off your videotapes. Uh, in this section we went ahead and completed the capture uh, using these three tools uh, to hopefully make that uh, more organized and uh, stress-free process. And the next step we're going to go ahead and um, get more into how to archive these clips that you have now in this subdirectory. Uh, we can break those down and uh, give them more descriptive names. Uh, we can also then batch each of these clips into their own subdirectory for more fine-tuning detail. For example, if you had a wedding, you can take certain clips related to the ceremony, to the reception, to the individual interviews, uh, and put them in their own respective areas. So, all in all, that's uh, part of the process here and uh, is a useful approach in uh, capturing uh, video from your camcorder device.